Good morning, students. How are you guys doing? How's everyone at home? I hope you guys are doing good. Please make sure you always keep safe. All right. Um, the last uh, video we talked about the political party development in the Second Republic. You know, since the time I started, we've been talking about um, political development in Nigeria. The first week that was on, we did, uh, talked about um, uh, political development uh, during the colonial era and um, post republic. And the second week we talked about, second week and third week we talked about um, political development in the second republic. Now this week um, four, we're gonna be talking about political development in the third and the fourth republic, okay? So that is according to our scheme of work, that's what we are to look at, okay? So before we talk too much, um, before taking too much of our time, let's look at uh, the behavior objectives. That is what we are expected to learn at the end of this video. Okay, at the end of the lesson, the students should be able to one discuss briefly the historical development of political parties in Nigeria. Do that is in the third and fourth republic in Nigeria. Then number two. We should be able to discuss the formation, organizational structure, sources of finance, objectives, and performances of the of the parties which were, were um, formed or registered in the third republic and the fourth republic. We have them here. The first one there is the Social Democratic Party (SDP). You also have the B there, the National Republican Convention (NRC). Then later we have um, People's Democratic Party, PDP, or we also have All People's Party, APP, now All Nigeria People's Party and Alliance for Democracy, that is AD. So these are the political parties which were um, registered between the Third Republic and the Fourth Republic. All right, let's go to, to take a um, look at this one after the other. First, we look at the political parties in the Third Republic, okay? General Ibrahim Babangida promulgated the transition to civil rule decree, though which, um, though which two political parties evolved and um, were basically a product of the military regime because they were instrumental to the creation of the program aims and objective of these two political parties. The sense that these was um, an idea of General Ibrahim Babagila because he was the um, military head of state as at that time. But as at that time, we only had two political parties which were standing. And um, a closer look at the structure and program of these parties, one could see that the similarities were so glaring. That is to talk about their aims and objectives, their programs, and every other plans, which we could refer to as manifesto. Equally, it was not be out of place if one says that these parties were imposed on the people and, you know, paid on the people of Nigeria. You know, when we talk about a military government, so it's just like the two parties were given a chance and it's now it was looking as if it was an imposed party on the people. And the registered parties were, number one, the Social Democratic Party, SDP, and the National Republican Convention, NRC. These were the only two political parties that General Ibrahim Babagida gave um, way to be to function for the particular that particular year's election. And um, SDP has its normal chairman in the person of Chief Tony Anin Anini. These happened to be the party chairman as at that time, and it, uh, it has its registered office at Abuja. Which happened to be uh, not only in Abuja, also have, they also had their party uh, offices at state capitals. That is all the 36 states at their capital. And also local government headquarters and so many other places. And you know, it is it, it, these parties came about during the um, military rule, military regime. So as a result of that, the military men were using their power to make sure that these two parties cut across the whole nation. And talking of NRC, NRC was, um, was being 
the, the chairman for NRC happened to be Chief Tom Ikimi, who, uh, who and as a, as a result of that, he was also um, he also registered his um, office at Abuja. He, you know, he has office in Abuja and other state capitals and other local government headquarters, just like the SDP and wards in the country. So you can see these two parties, everything they are doing is just kind of like exactly the same. So there's no local government that you get to, you don't see office of um, SDP and likewise the office of NRC. Okay. Now, that is that about the political parties or the third republic. And let me, I need to tell you that that um, third republic was abortive. They, they, they couldn't they couldn't progress. They couldn't move on with that. Okay, maybe I need to add that. Um, um, that was when we have um, Shiv M K Wabiola. He was representative of SDP. That was 1993 when the election was conducted. And as a result of that, you all, if, if you uh, your whole student of history, you still remember what happened there, whereby the the election result was being thrown out. And as a result of that, that brought about the fourth republic. So now we're talking about political parties in the Fourth Republic in Nigeria. The evolution of the Fourth Republic in Nigeria after the exit of the then military regime headed by General Abdul Salam Abubakar, we are uh, which witnessed the registration of three political parties that contested um, in the election. So um, this uh, Fourth Republic also brought about the registration of another three uh, political parties. And the parties registered were uh, one, we have the People's Democratic Party, that's PDP. We also have um, All People's Party, APP, is now All Nigeria People's Party. And the, the third one there, Alliance for Democracy, AD. We're going to be discussing these parties one by one, but later. But let's still go on. This party contested in the 1999 general elections at all levels of government, that is all, that is at the federal level, at the state level, and at the local level. And that will talk about how all that happened in all the 36 states of Nigeria. And then after the general election held between December 1998 and April 1999, and um, you know, these three parties, we're going to be reading um, their, the number of states which they were able to capture. Okay, the first one that we have, PDP, was able to capture 21 states. 21 states, you know, if that 21 states is the majority out of 36 states. Okay, then ANPP was able to capture nine states, while AD was able to capture six states. If you had everything together, you see that that, is, that happened to be 36, and um, the, the party who happened to be a majority party as at that time, 1999 happened to be PDP. And you need to know that the first chairman of PDP was Shiv Solomon La, we, uh, while that of AD was Mamam Yusuf, and AP's chairman at that time was Alaji Yusuf Ali. Similarly, in the general elections held between April and May 2003, 30 political parties were registered by INE. And some of them were okay. Let, I think I need to tell you that um, um, since 1999, we've, we've never had any other military regime again. So we are still in the Fourth Republic till now. So that you know, that, um, after the election that was conducted in 1999, normally the 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 government they are meant to use four years, and uh, after four years, another election is going to be conducted, and that happened to be 2003. Another election was conducted, and, and other parties were, uh, you know, came about and um, were able to have some other parties which INEC was able to register. And uh, we know we still have uh, PDP, that is People's Democratic Party. We still, um, the, the, other, the, the party is now um, All Nigeria People's Party. Uh, we still have um, Alliance for Democracy, that's AD. The, the new other new parties were All Progressive Grand Alliance, that's APGA. We also had the um, National Conscience Party, NCP, National Democratic Party, NDP, Progressive Action Congress, PAC, Movement for Democratic and Justice, MDG, Action Alliance, formerly National Mass Movement of Nigeria, 
Then also we had uh, People Solidarity Party, that is PSP. Uh, then after the election, after the 2003 general election, PDP was still dominating, and uh, they increased from, 20, uh, from controlling 21 states to 27 states. So as at that time, uh, PDP was still um, the major party because they were able to capture 27 states, while AMPP um, was able to capture seven states, while AG was uh, able to pick um, one state. Uh, AG dropped from capturing six states to one state. Then APG was able to take one state. And in preparation for 2007 general election, uh, we saw that INEC um, registering about 50 political parties and the elections were held in April 14 and 21, 2007. You can see how the political parties were, you know, were growing from the, from the colonial era to the First Republic, from the First Republic to the Second Republic, and from the Second Republic to the Third Republic. When it got to the Second Republic, it was reduced to, reduced to two. When it got to um, uh, the Fourth Republic, it was increased to um, three. Um, you know, and from there, we now have over 50 political parties that were registered for 2007 general election. And um, on April 14 was for governorship and state house of assembly, and um, April 21 was for the presidential elections, the senatorial election, and as of representative elections. And some of the parties registered um, were we still have PDP, we still have AMPP, we still have now, AG now changed from Alliance Democracy to Action Congress to be AC. There was also a party like uh, Democratic People's Party, that's DPP, Progressive People's Alliance, PPA, Masses Movement of Nigeria, MNN, Citizens Popular Party, CPP, Advanced Democratic Congress, ADC, Better Nigerian Progressive Party, BNPP, Fresh Democratic Party, FDP, all Progressive Grand Alliance, APGA again, Republican Party of Nigeria, RPN, Hope Democratic Party, HDP, um, National Conscience Party, NCP, People's Mandate Party, PMP, and, um, and many more, because I said there were more than uh, about 50 parties that were registered at that time. PDP, ANPP, and possibly AC may be seen as the major political parties and this is because they have national spread uh, in the sense that uh, they have branches all over uh, the country. So other parties uh, were referred to as minor parties because they did not have national mass followership that cut across different ethnic groups in the country. That is, they didn't have members that cut across all the nations, uh, sorry, all the states in the country. And some of these 50 political parties registered did not even field presidential and governorship candidates during the April 14 and 20, um, April 21 election. That is as a result of the fact that they don't have um, a, a mass followership or a national members in their party. Okay, after the 2007 general elections, PDP was alleged to have won the presidential election and other elections, e.g. that's talk about governorship, state assemblies, and national assembly elections through massive rigging. And that happened, that happened because they, they've been a, ma uh, a major political party in Nigeria for over eight years. And as a result of that, now having another four years to them, that makes it to be um, 12 years. So having that, so they make, that made them to be a strong, political party in Nigeria. And as a result of that, I give candidates of other political parties went to the election tribunal to challenge the INEX declaration of PDP as the winner of the 2007 um, election in most talking about the governorship, state assembly, national assembly election, and many others. And uh, now we we'll talk about the parties one by one, and also talk about their um, objectives, aims and objectives, and how, um, contributions they're about, okay? Now the first one we have here is People's Democratic Party, that is PDP. We want to look at the major party as at that time, 
aims and objective of PDP, number one was that to support the promotion of the integrity, unity, and sovereignty of Nigeria as one political entity. Okay, and number two, to pursue the enstrenchment and democrat democratization of the political process, the rule of law, social justice, and equity. Number three, to work towards the enhancement of the independence of the judiciary, free press, and individual rights and freedom. Number four, to ensure that there is on um, there is on deviation in the implementation of the parties program at all levels, and care must be taken to make sure that such does not contradict the promotion of the Council of Nigeria. You can see they have good um, aims and objectives to see have more to educate literacy and promote learning and conducting of research in science and technology in Nigeria. Another one, another aims and objectives of PDP to support the promotion of mutual respect and in the harmonization of all religious <laughs> groups, traditions, and um, culture of different groups in the country. And moving on to support member nations, international organizations, as well as regional and sub-regional sub groupings. For example, that is UN, United Nations Organization, AU, African Union, and um, ECO, um, ECOWAS in um, executing their aims and objectives, especially in consideration of um, national interest and to support efforts toward a peaceful resolution to international, regional, and sub-regional conflicts in Libya and Darfur region. And uh, moving on, we also have that to promote the rights of the disabled and the rights of the children, especially the child of, of the abuse. Okay, so I said to promote the rights of the disabled and the rights of the children, especially in the area of abuse. Okay, moving on to the achievement of PDP. We, they, they have a lot of uh, achievement due to the fact that they happen to be a ruling party for about 12 years, if, if not more than that. PDP as a party is working towards uh, preserving the integrity, the unity, and the sovereignty of the country. And as a result of that, a vigorous pursuance of the dynamics of foreign, uh, foreign policy object, objectives in relation to other um, countries, regional organizations, and contributing in finding solutions to the international um, conflicts in the um, world at that time. Then it contested and won elections in all levels of government throughout the country, that is, the federal level, at the state level, and also at the local government level. It also won the presidential election of 1999, 1999 2003, 2007, and 2009. So can you count the year? Okay. Um, you can see that um, PDP actually ruled Nigeria for 16 good years, okay? Making it the party controlling the, uh, controlling the center, it equally controls majority seats in the National Assembly as well as in some state assemblies and local government councils. So PDP were, 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 was everywhere, we were controlling the, 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 the presidency, we were controlling the National Assembly, we were controlling the state assemblies, some state assemblies, and likewise the local government councils. The ruling party pursued economic reforms and helped in sanitizing the banking and insurance sector and um, so many others. The ruling party, which happened to PDP, has succeeded in setting up economic and financial crime commission, that is EFCC, as a measure or weapon of curbing the high rate of corruption, which has eaten so deep into our social and political fabrics. Well, we still have corruption. ESCC, do your job. Okay? So our further achievement of PDP is that the introduction of global system of mobile communication and GSM in Nigeria is a plus for the past. Yes, 
Yes, it was this party that, that uh, introduced GSM into the, into the um, into Nigeria's economy. Okay, it also worked very hard in sanitizing the health sector of this country, as well as um, fighting hard and uh, fake drugs merchants through the creation of the National Agency for Food, Drug Administration and Control. I did not that. It was also this party that brought about, that formulated, you know, NAFDA in order to sanitize the health sector of this country. You know, what, in order to fight uh, our drug and fake drug machine. Another one was that different programs were set up to reduce the rate of unemployment, poverty, etc. through the setting up of different schemes. Okay? Well, we now move to another major party at that time, all, people, all People's Party, APP. What are the aims and objectives of APP? To cooperate in fostering and promoting unity, stability, um, political stability, and to involve in people the value of national consciousness. Two, to vigorously pursue the execution of the program of the party at all levels to promote and to see to the workability of the development of science and technology, to come up with an economic policy based on politics, uh, uh, public participation, even with control in areas of production, distribution, exchange of goods and services, and also to possibly institutionalize and foster representative democracy with strict adherence to rules of law and due process in implementation of government policies. And another one, an aims and objective of APP is that to cooperate with other political or organized bodies whose aims are in line with the demand and provision of the constitution of Nigeria. Also to promote and pursue economic, social, and um, political freedom as well as enhancing a better standard of living for the people of the country, okay? Now, moving on to the contributions of APP. It, um, that is the achievement of APP right now, okay? It's um, contested elections into all elective posts of, um, uh, elective posts at all levels of government during the 1999 and 2020 general election, okay? It also worked towards the promotion of political stability and national unity among Nigerians. The party won nine governorship elections in the Middle Belt Zone and Northwest during the 1999 general election. It also won some seats at the state and uh, state assembly, national assembly, and also local government council. The interest, the interest of farmers were adequately promoted, especially in APP states, that is, those states that APP won the governorship election. It worked in alliance, it worked in alliance with, um, with other parties. Sorry for the little interruption. Okay. It worked in alliance with AD to present a credible candidate during the 1999 uh, presidential election. These are the objectives, uh, sorry, the aims and objectives and achievements of APP. Let's move to the um, other, um, other major political party as at that time. Okay, just hold on um, this next one. Okay, so you can see that um, APP and PDP, especially PDP, achieved a lot of because they were the ruling party for about 16 good years. So that's the more reason why they had lots of achievements. And um, you know, moving on from there, we also have um, that they had plans to eliminate poverty and ignored and want in all aspects of people's life to stand against exploitation and um, many more, okay?
Now, Alliance for Democracy, that is another major political party for the fourth republic now to present to, uh, so as at that time, their aims and objectives were to promote unity and work for the political stability of the country, to promote the doctrine of democratic principles, constitutional and legitimate means of acquiring political power, to defend the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, to defend the sovereignty of the people of Nigeria and to allow the abolition of democratic process in the political structure of the party. And now one there is that is to embark on the development of commerce and industry as well as agriculture. But that is an objective are to eliminate poverty, ignorance, and want in all aspects of the life or of the people's life, to stand against exploitation and discrimination of different shades shapes in the society to provide full and gainful empl employment for Nigerians that has the ability to work, to promote, provide, to, uh, to promote and provide the basic necessities of life. That is what the citizen talk about. That is housing, food, water, free education, primary health care, security, etc. for the people of, the country, of this country. To embark on an integrated rural development aimed at improving the quality of life at the rural settings. You can see all the aims and objectives of ADN. Then we have the achievement of Alliance for Democracy, AD. What are the achieve achievements? It's one and controlled six state of the Southwest zone by winning the governorship election in 1999 general election. And in 2003, it won and retained only Lagos, State. So that means other five states have been won by PDP. It also took part in 1999 and 2003 uh, general election um, throughout the country and won some seats in the National Assembly, uh, state assemblies, and uh, local, uh, local government election. That you want to talk about national assembly, talking about the Senate, the House of Representatives, and we talk about the, all the, the state assemblies and local government also. To the promotion of integrated rural development program, the quality of life of those in rural area has, you know, was able to improve, improve considerably. It's provided free primary and secondary education and free primary health care, especially in the states controlled by AD. Normally, they will only be effective in the states which they have been, they have one controlling. For example, in 2003, the one in Lagos, so they were all their all their aims were carried out in only in Lagos. It promoted unity and supported every effort towards the political stability of the country. So these and many more are the um, achievements of AD. Now, looking at the contributions of political parties towards the constitutional development of Nigeria, you can see that. The development of the political party has really brought a lot of things. Number one, it provided the leadership of, for constitutional development, and these members, members of the political parties spreaded agitation for constitutional reforms. For example, in 1949, the Richard Constitution was criticized for lack of consultation, and this was corrected in the 1959-51. This was corrected in the 1951 Constitution. There was a popular proposition in the sense that Opposition was initiated by parties against colonial government. For example, Richard Constitution of 1946, the constitution was seen by party leaders as containing as ambitious laws, which was subsequently removed in the 1951 constitution. Political election as political education, political education. This was provided through rallies and newspaper. For example, uh, West African Pilot was uh, formed at that time. So newspapers were always uh, were everywhere. Comment, Lagos Weekly Record, and Nigeria Tribune, owned by some of these party leaders. And this uh, enlightenment exposed the mass to the masses to some of the deficiencies of colonial constitutions. We also have um, formation of government. Governments were formed by various parties in their various regions under the 1951 constitution. And as a result of the development 
your uh, development formed the basis of self-governing in 1987, 1989, and that brought about the independence in 1960. And the last point, the constitutional conferences, whereby leaders were selected by the parties to attend constitutional conferences. For example, in by the Conference of 1981, 1983, and 1987 London Conference for the attainment of uh, political independence. So these are some of the parties that were um, registered of and formed between the Third Republic and Fourth Republic. So you can see those parties there, NCP, um, AGC, uh, APGA, and PDM, and you can see all the parties, the APC, APD, you know, the parties now change to APC from AG, and you know, SDP, and many other parties there. So my name is name, Mr. Faladi. Thank you very much for, um, for listening. Make sure you, you know, um, go over this video over and over again. And um, if you have any issue or question, feel free to chat me. Sit like, come your way.